Hey guys, uh, <laughs> would you like to learn how to play video games on Linux? I've got something for you. So, <clears throat> here we are. Mudahar of some ordinary gamers put out a video delete windows today he did that about three days ago and the name's a bit clickbaity as in he's a longtime linux user uh he plays the mass majority of his video games on linux he uh does not like Windows as far as it's basically closed source uh, they've got their data mining and telemetry crap built in uh, now of course Microsoft is pushing out Copilot which is their AI assistant that isn't being received so well and has had some issues lately that we won't go into uh he uh mudahar wanted to put out this video delete windows today which is really about transforming or, or, or transitioning yourself from windows to linux uh more geared towards a standard user now on the face of it, I wouldn't be making this video unless there was a problem. And it's not so much that what he said was wrong. It's that he missed something that should have been a little bit more context should have been given to it. Outside of that, the video is great. Um, as you can see, I'm playing on Linux. I have games installed so let's go through this uh in the, now if you want to learn how to do this go watch his video i'll put a link in the description below uh like and subscribe as you can see there i finally subscribed um but it, it, this isn't a how-to to make it work this is uh, I, I'd like to add a couple caveats to his video that he, he kind of glossed over a little bit which is fine his experience resides in Linux so he's used to everything simple to him because he's used to it uh, whereas me the last time I tried playing games on Linux was about 15 years ago and I have 27 years worth of IT experience, but the mass majority of that outside of server level is Windows. Uh, yes, I did do web hosting for a short period of time. We had, uh, I don't remember what servers we had. This was back in 2010, 20, 2009, somewhere around there. Uh, it wasn't Red Hat, but it, we... Our, our servers were Linux um, with cPanel and special backend. Uh, we hosted over 6,000 websites, but that's not gaming and that's not the point. He, in his video, directs you to use Linux Mint, which is what I used about 15 years ago to try this out. And it was horrible. Yes, there was wine, but installing games and getting it to work, you just, you really had to fight. And I was really excited because he puts out this video and it's almost like he was speaking to me, even though he has no clue who I am, that, you know, here, let me show you how to do it in Linux Mint. <laughs> well, okay, I'm sold. So I watched the video and it's like, well, yeah, it, I can do all that stuff. I've, I've done it before. It's not that bad. 
He says that uh, Linux is quicker and easier to install than Windows and Mac OS. Um, he shows this website right here, gives a brief explanation about this one. Uh, he glossed over this one, which I don't, I don't really know the difference about it. Uh, gave a little bit more context with the XFCE edition, which is a stripped down lighter version so that older hardware that you want to test it out, but you, all you've got is this old laptop or old computer. Um, it should perform better because it's, it's less demanding on the hardware. And then he kind of glossed over this right here. Uh, he did state it's for newer hardware and, you know, a little bit about that, but didn't really go into depth. He directed everybody to go to here. So I followed his tutorial. I made a USB thumb drive using this, you know, first one, like he said, and immediately ran into a problem. Now, I'm closer to what his definition of a standard user is when it comes to Linux than I am to Windows. I know the hardware I've got is a uh, 12th gen i7 12700K, uh, 16 gigs of uh, DDR4, 3200 megahertz. I could go higher, but it's what I had. Uh, RTX 3060. And a Gen 4 NVMe one terabyte drive, plus the the USB keyboard mouse, nothing fancy. And when I and it was a brand new drive. These are all brand new parts, just you know, not the latest and greatest. I booted from the thumb drive and it got stuck. And it was talking about something with the scuzzy but it wasn't an error message it was just like loading this and it sat and i thought to myself well if i'm a standard user this might be the point which i give up however let's say i'm an exploring standard user someone who doesn't mind just kind of fumbling around a little bit so i rebooted on the hopes that maybe it didn't read something correct from the usb Landed on the same error. Reboot again, but this time I selected compatibility mode. Got immediately to the live desktop. Well, okay, now we're back up and running. Installed Linux on the blank, brand new NVMe drive. It said, you know, hey, I'm done installing. Do you want to continue using the live desktop or do you want to reboot? I said, nope, let's reboot. It started the reboot process, said, hey, pull out your thumb drive, and we'll finish the reboot. I pulled out the thumb drive, it refinished the reboot, start up, and now I'm back to text on the screen, and it's talking about my Logitech keyboard. Won't go anywhere. Won't I can't enter anything. I can't do anything. And I've got a wired, generic, no RGB Logitech keyboard. So now I'm thinking, well, as a standard user, the target audience that he's kind of reaching out to, I'd definitely give up now. Because I'd be like, oh, this I'll never get this working. This is above my head. So I had to elevate myself and, and go back on my 27 years of experience, do a little diagnosing, rewatched his video, and it's a good video. Uh, Mudahar, if you see this, two thumbs up. Uh, I just wish he had gone a little bit more in depth over the Edge edition of this distro. Um, I came back, I read it, and it's like, well, my 12th gen CPU, that's two generations old. The RAM has been around forever. DDR4 has been around forever. And now we have DDR5, so that's really not the latest and greatest. That's a generation old. The video card, that's a 30 series. Um, we're at 40 series 
NVIDIA cards now, so that's a generation old. The NVMe drive, that's Gen 4, and we're at Gen 5, so even that's a generation old, and that hit me. I'm using a B760i motherboard. It's an I, a mini ITX motherboard, because I have an idea for a small build. Uh, and that's that's the latest and greatest. So I went down and downloaded the Edge version of Cinnamon Edition. That worked perfectly. So go watch his video if you're interested in gaming on Linux. Listen to what I have to say. If you have anything that is even questionably newer, do the Edge ISO instead. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're on a couple year old hardware, a year old, that you've had running for a year, use this, the, the top one. Uh, <clears throat> or, or, matter of fact, you could probably just use the Edge Edition, even on that hardware. Uh, as far as the gaming goes, my intro just showed me playing Shogo, which is Mobile Armor Division. It's a fun game from way back when. Let's you make choices in the game. Anyway, it's on GOG. And part of his tutorial is, here's how to do it with Steam. And then he quickly goes over GOG, but not very, not very well. But a little, yeah, I mean, you can still do it. Steam was a piece of cake. Uh, that just worked. <clears throat> and Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, not the remastered, works perfect. Star Wars Republic Commando, I just learned about this game. Works better than on my Windows machine. Absolutely better. OBS Studio, which is what I'm recording this with, worked right out of the box. I did have to set up the workspace, but you'd have to do that in Windows. Linux, found my Elgato mic, like that. Nothing special. The camera that I'm using is a simple webcam. I found that. I didn't have to do anything fancy. My entire network is on the domain. It's a Windows 2016 domain controller with DNS, DHCP, uh, group policies, shared drives, a whole bunch of stuff. So anytime I build a new computer, it's got to be pro so I can sign it on the domain so the group policy can force map drives and my printer. Well, somehow, Linux found the printer, loaded it, and it works. And it's not on the domain. It just found it and just installed it. I didn't have to do anything. There's been some advancements in Linux, people. And it's getting there. Is it... User ready like your boomer. If you're a boomer, I'm sorry, I'm Gen X. But if you're of that age, is it user ready for you? Not unless you've been in computers. It's close. It's so close. But if you know someone who's in computers and you want help switching this over or trying Linux, get them involved. Ask them because. Linux is a lot less vulnerable than Windows when it comes to viruses. Yes, it can happen, but Windows is the mass target. It's the common target for infections, malware, ransomware, all that stuff. Uh, Linux is basically open source not that you would understand what you're looking at, but it goes through scrutiny of other third parties to look for vulnerabilities, to, to identify bad actors who have contributed, whereas 
Windows is not. It's closed source. Windows also has that telemetry crap, the data mining. That way they can sell your your habits, like when you Google search. That way when you are checking stuff on Facebook, uh, you know, if you use Cortana or their Copilot AI, it's it's gathering that information to sell that information to advertisers so that advertisers can target you and you're, you don't really want your information out there. Not like that. Linux doesn't do that. At least not that I've ever heard of. So, Steam, if you got a bunch of games in Steam, yeah, it works. I, I'm telling you. Both of these, I haven't installed all my games on Steam yet, but both these worked perfectly. No, I didn't have to do anything. Um, Shogo, it worked perfectly. On my Windows computer, I have to go to the executable, go to its properties, change the compatibility mode to be Windows XP Service Pack 2, not Service Pack 3, not Service Pack 1, Service Pack 2, and do some other config just to get it stably running in full screen window mode. This just works full screen, no special configs. Now you're seeing Baldur's Gate 3 here. Looks like a text document. For whatever reason, GOG through Root Lutris uh, doesn't doesn't do the the shortcuts all that well. Um, I was able to fix Shogos, but Baldur's Gate 3 I can't seem to fix. But I haven't really I haven't really put that much effort into it. It still loads. It still works. Ultra settings on a 3060, and it was smooth, perfect gameplay. So Lutris is the software that. Uh, Mudahar recommends because GOG as of today doesn't have a uh, package inside Linux's software manager and I'm loading that up so if you go up here and search Steam and Mudahar shows you this you see Steam and I got a little check mark because I got installed uh, but if you search uh, GOG, nothing for it comes up. Uh, what does GOG stand for? Uh, good old games. Good old games. Nothing. We can try GOG.com, but that that's not going to show. Yeah, it. I don't know what this is. Zero stars, I'm not going to trust it. So, what Mudahar says is try Lutris. Here it is. You see, I check marked it. It's in, I just pulled it up. The trick to Lutris is if you look next to EA app or Epic Games, see the little person and see how it says connect? You have to connect your account to Lutris and that displays all your games. And then you click on one, and you're given the option to install. And then it installs it in using Wine and all that. But it's just as easy as installing on Windows. However, it seems to work better, in my opinion. Um, but again, you're dealing with icons that may not show where Steam just showed. Uh, if I type in, uh, let's see, need for speed, there it is in my list. And it says play this game on Steam. When I click it, it besides having to wait through the long intro and all that crud, it works. Uh, OBS Studio is working. Mudahar was right. I wish he had gone into a little bit more detail for the inexperienced users that would probably get stuck where I found hiccups 
But outside of that, if you want to play video games on Linux, go check out his video. It's this one right here, Delete Windows Today. And I'll link it in the description. Give him a thumbs up. Tell him I sent you, whatever. Subscribe to him. He's got a lot of useful info. Uh, he talks about uh, bad things on the dark web. He talks about the latest and greatest virus infections that are going around. He talks about video games. He seems to be into Linux for some weird reason. I don't know. Anyway, Mudahar, if you see this, thank you. I'm excited to get back into gaming on Linux and, and give that another fair shot because 15 years ago it absolutely sucked. This is vastly different, vastly superior to what it was 15 years ago. Thank you, bro.